very emotional indeed. Next is the funeral service of Pastor Abiodun Amore. Pastor Abiodun Amore was born on the 28th of December 1942 to Pa Agbileye Amore and Princess Adetunke Amore. Pastor Amore and his wife are loved by their sons and daughters-in-law and many others who they consider as their children. It passed on on the 31st of December 2020. The service of songs took place on February 10, 2021 at Reading Christian Church of God, Glory Parish. that I, I could ever have and uh, his memories you know the way, our, our conversation majorly you know how the conversation goes when when we, when he calls or when I call you know it's it's something that is very different from every other uh, father to daughter relationship permit me to say uh, mommy God bless you uh, we appreciate your work and your work with daddy. Um, we know that they say behind every successful man that there is a woman. I know for the years that I have known your family, at least about 12 years, that you've been very, a very strong pillar. And I thank you so much. The family that he has left with you will not collapse in the name of Jesus. I pray because I know also that these children are not just soldiers, they are generals in whatever field that they found themselves. They will make you proud in the name of Jesus. I also want to encourage the children that the light that the Lord has put in your hands will not be quenched. It will not be put out in Jesus' name. Sunday mornings when he's going to church, he'd always call me, particularly when I was still living in the house, to help him tie his knots, uh, his, his tie knots, and that for me was always, you know, uh, something I always looked forward to, knowing that at least there's something he needs from me, you know, even though it was my father, I paid for my school and all of that, but at that time it was one thing he, I could do, you know, I could give back to him, and I always enjoyed it every Sunday morning, so um, it's one of the things I think about. I, want, I thank God for the life of Baba Amore. The nickel you are seeing today is groomed by Baba Amore. Baba groomed me and I'm serving in this capacity because of what Baba has laid down. It's a, it's a tough law, but we know God has taken him. And it, you know, there's nothing we're gonna, we can do or we're going to do, but we really love and we're going to miss him. That is very respectable, very quiet. Even in, in a soft tone, it passes the message deeply. You know, it will speak so slowly and soft, and you get a message. So I would like to say a special thanks to the family of Glory Parish, all the pastors, all the ministers, all the workers, and all the members. We are grateful for all that you have done. All of our friends and all of our family members who have come from far and wide. We are grateful. We thank you. We pray that our love for one another will continue to work stronger. And we pray that all of us shall not miss heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. It was laid to rest on the 11th of February 2021 
at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Glory Parish. dad was a perfect gentleman. He was a no-hassle kind of person. He loved God and was very zealous for the things of God. He served God and he was very studious. He was very prayerful. In fact, his prayers were very long prayers. He loved family and he was married to my mom for 48 years. Daddy taught me many things. He taught me resilience. He taught me Christian values. He taught me to be dependent on God and you were a good example of such. I'll miss you so much, but I take solace knowing that right now you are resting in the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I'll see you again on the resurrection morning in Jesus' name. Anybody who is preparing for this appointment must know, must live a life every day as if it's your last. As if it's your last day. As a, as a matter of fact, every moment should be spent as if it's your last moment. The greatest investment must be in the investment of where you will end up. Because that's what matters. The, high, the longest living man on earth was Methuselah. He spent, he lived 969 years, not up to 1,000. And the Bible says concerning God, that a thousand years for him is like one day. And one day is like a thousand years. Meaning in the sight of God, no human being has spent one day. If Methuselah spent 969 years investing in his life, he didn't invest in eternal life, it would have been a, it's a safe wood, it's, it's a miserable life he spent. So you must decide. Mommy, there is work to do. The Lord will increase you. Uh, I don't know why you are still singing with the choir. <laughs> but if you are not more singing, you have to employ all my friends to join you in singing. So Baba has gone. But we felt it's the passion. He did a lot among the council of elders. It is my prayer that we are going to meet him in the kingdom of God. I learned resilience from my dad. Um, I learned perseverance. Um, I saw him through most of my most of my life, actually, um, trying to build a business and the ups and downs of that. But he never gave up, not for once. Um, that that builds character. And so for me, it's one of the things that I, I believe I hope to emulate in my life, my personal life, my work life, my business life. We thank the Almighty God for the life of our daddy, Pastor Abiodun Amu. And our prayer is that.
that everything that you left behind will be kept by God in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that even after his departure, the family will not scatter Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It was a life well spent. May he continue to rest in perfect peace. May their gentle souls rest in perfect peace. That's how we call it a wrap on this week's episode of Plus Events. Until next week, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow all our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa. Until next time, I am Ifeolua Oshunkeye. Stay safe.